What's up, thanks, how are we all? It's Simon Mac here again for another episode of The Sign. So we are in, uh, I think we're in episode three, <clears throat> but we are in part, I think, 39 now. So a very, very, obviously, long game. Like I did sort of say before the whole, th when I, before I started doing it all, um, I did say it was a very long process. So I reckon, to be brutally honest, it could probably take up to probably 70, 80 parts, probably even more, you never know um yeah but anyway i could have done this all i say parts longer but didn't bother anyway so anyway so in the last part we sort of managed to sort of find out quite a bit of information i suppose um concerning the the woman that's in the video um turns out the, this woman called tessa who we'll be messaging it turns out to be a sister and um, we're sort of assuming obviously that she's pregnant as well she was pregnant before she died um a mother seems to think she, it wasn't suicide it was murder um, so a lot sort of going on and obviously the, the woman in, in the, in the video, obviously her name is Serena. So very interesting, um, sort of, uh, sort of uh, information really. So, so we're going to get back into it straight away. So not waste too much time. So let's get to the organ party and see what's going on with the folks. If the young lady doubts your credibility, just invite her to the group. Okay. Guys, are you there? You won't believe it. You won't believe it. You'll probably tell her about, obviously, tell them all about what's going on. Tell us quick, tell us quick. <clears throat> did she answer? She certainly did. <laughs> Jonathan, he's a bit of a funny guy. Cedric's just madly in love, obviously. The ghost girl, her name is Serena Blake. Oh, you stupid, stop doing that. Just made me jump then. <laughs> Tessa is actually her sister, which is quite mad. But like I say, a lot of sort of information sort of going on concerning the last sort of uh, part, you know, so. So, oh, Cedric, oh, God, seriously. Finally, this is the best news in a long time. Oh, God, what did she tell you? Well, she didn't sort of say sort of too much, she, you know, sort of, she because she didn't really sort of know sort of thing, but she sort of believed it's obviously the whole craziness sort of thing. Um, Normally saying asking how did Serena die? How did Serena die, Simon? Apparently she jumped off. Now you even think like, God, to please she took her own life 15 years ago. Apparently so. She jumps off a bridge and drowned. <clears throat> so the water thing still comes into it again, which is a bit weird. You know, like I said yesterday, you know, uh, Gabriella was found by near a lake, obviously water. Uh, Quinton died and uh, it was seen in a pool last. And obviously um, she jumped off in a bridge and drowned. So like I say, obviously water. So suicide, Jonathan says, Wolf says, but then everything we found out no longer makes sense. Feels is true revenge. Murder? None of that fits together anymore. Tessa was sure it wasn't suicide. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of a funny one. <clears throat> so me must be involved as Ooh. That made me jump a little. <laughs> That's good, keep jumping. Oh, very jumpy today, folks. Anyway. Um Henry Francis. Anyway, now it's clear why water was involved in Quinton's and Gabriel's case. Restless souls find it difficult to detach themselves from the nature of their passing. Okay, a bit sort of, yeah, okay. And Kiara, <laughs> oh my god, oh gosh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yannick saying, carry on with the story, sign. What else were you able to find out? Um, not really a lot, to be fair. But anyway, we're sending the messages and stuff anyway, so. Like I say, <clears throat> She's going to sort of look, apparently, there's sort of like baby stuff, apparently. Uh, there's a box or something, sorry, and there might be stuff in it, stuff for babies, I don't know. Never know, never know, see what happens. Might just give it away there, so apologies. So we're just as wrong about the pregnancy. From the looks of it, Tessa seems to believe us at least. Does Tessa have any idea what might have actually happened? No, she doesn't, but she's trying to find out. And so she's going to... Be sort of soul searching, well, not soul searching, but sort of looking, Let's see if she can sort of help us in any, any sort of way. Like I say, she's gonna have a look at so this box, 
uh, foster parents or kept a box of memories and stuff. So she's gonna have a she's gonna have a wee look, have a wee look, you know, pal. Please let us know immediately when she gets back to you. Hopefully she'll find something. Says Ruby and Jonathan. Mm, yes. oh, video call from Tessa. Good God. Oh, no, 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 no. Not Tessa. No, 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 no. Surely not. It's gone very quiet now. What's happened here? Let me just move that over there. I'm trying to get there. There we go, Tessa. Tessa, what was that? Come on, Tessa, please answer. Not you as well. Can't lose anyone else. Oh, no. Oh, dear. We're not feeling the worst, surely. Can't do this again, surely not. How many more are they going to be killed? I'm worried Tessa could be in danger because of Gabriella. Oh, this is pandemonium, isn't it, folks? Absolute pandemonium. What is going on? Ruby, what happened? What makes you think that? A video called uh, the wind noise in the basement. Yeah, a phone call suddenly drops it. Sort of did, didn't it? You know, we could have bought over the first or the second one, but the first one makes sense because the video called did sort of just, well, stopped, didn't it? Oh, dear. it's just never ending, is it, folks? Never ending. Gabriella continues to pursue different goals than Serena. Oh, it's just madness, isn't it? It was to be expected that Tessa would have th thorn in her side, Simon. Well, yeah, would be a thorn in her side, shall I say? <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Like I say, I've got a bit of a cracked screen. Um, like I say. Oh, Tessa, it's Tessa, it's Tessa, it's Tessa. Oh my God, did you just witness that? I certainly did, Tessa. There was sudden, suddenly a really cold shiver. Oh shit, Sherlock. Just tell me what happened. It felt like someone was killing me just with their looks. No way that was my sister. Is there more than one? Is there more than two? Is there more than one ghost? I don't think I've ever been so scared. Well, I would be. Now that's another video from Tessa. I'm fine, though. I'm back inside my room now, and... I've looked through the box. You won't believe it. Just a sec. I'll send you something. Oh, so she's found out some interesting information for us. I wonder what that will be. Let's go. Oh, Tessa still messaging us. So, I'll try and sort of read this the best I can. Uh, dear Dara, I went to the doctor today because of nausea and found out that I was pregnant. That I'm pregnant. Of course, it's a bit early, but the two of us will manage besides. Uh, I should say, so, but no. Anyway. I'm trying to sort of read out. I can't go read this all because I can't understand it. But anyway, so so it turns out she was pregnant. Wow. Just can't believe it. Mm, I'm sorry you had to find out this way, I suppose, you know. Auntie Tessa and all that. Wow. That's some powerful shit. I'm going to take a proper look at her things now. I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. Yeah, hold on a second, please. Would you be are you okay if I did you to our group chat? Good idea, probably easy for all of us. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh-oh, what's going on? There's going to be a pop-out, watch this. What happened there? Was it just a glitch in the phone? Let's get her added into the group, folks. 
So eight seven quad nines. Lovely. Get her into the group. Marvellous. So we go, so we've got the organ party. So it's, I've added Tessa to the group. There we go. <clears throat> Hello everyone, I am T I'm Tessa, Serena's sister. Yeah, thanks for helping us, Tessa. Really appreciate it. So I know they say more more people the worse you can get, but in this case, sort of trying to solve something, more people the better, I suppose. You know, we'll basically sort of say, nice to meet you all. Uh, sorry, nice to meet you, Tessa, or everyone. So, good, Kiara, Yannick, Norma, and Henry. Kiara. I'm so sorry for what you had to go through in your childhood. Oh, bless her. It's okay. I say pretty mad crap going on here. I tell you, it's just madness. Now we've definitely found out and confirmed she was pregnant. Don't remember much of it after all. This all happened 15 years ago. Oh dear. Besides, I guess you guys deserve my sympathies. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird situation. So Simon has already informed you about our predicament. Cedric's going, hi Tessa. So the guys sort of come say hello. Yes, he told me about the video and the curse. And also that two of your friends have already died because of it. Yeah, they have. Well, Gabrielle and Quentin. Well, no, three of them are two, technically. Gabrielle and Quentin. The seven days were up, both of them drowned. Apparently so. Hmm. Just like your sister, Tessa. It's a bit obvious, uh, Cedric. Oh dear, it's just awful. So I imagine it is, to be fair. It's just. Can you imagine something like this in real life? Oh my god, can you imagine it, folks? If this curse is indeed connected to my sister in any way, I will do everything possible to help you. That's what, thank you, Tessa. We really appreciate it. I don't think we need any sort of more. And I think that's a good enough answer. Uh, Professor Kruger writing down that. Huh? Thank you so much, Tessa. You cannot imagine what a relief it is for us to have your support. Absolutely. Ruby saying thank you too. Oh dear. Like I say, hopefully now we can start finding out more information. Now we've still got the sister of Tessa and hopefully we can find some more stuff. Uh, I found something and, so, uh, and Simon thought it might be relevant. A diary, uh, a diary entry she had written on the day she died. Obviously, this is the the letter. Obviously, I've read a little bit of it, but like I say, um, so there was a bit where I missed out. Shall I say, yeah. So it turns out she was pregnant, and obviously she was with somebody at the time. Um, apparently so. This doesn't sound suicidal to me. She was even looking forward to the baby, yeah. Maybe the father didn't want the child? Could be. Not too sure. Mm, not really any response to that. Oh, there we go. A little bit quiet then, isn't it? <laughs> Tessa, do you have any idea who the father might be? That's the interesting thing. Who potentially is the father? Who is the father? That's the probably the next thing I think we're going to have to crank, I think, and solve. Uh, she says, no, I don't, sorry. Mum had never mentioned anything about a boyfriend before she died. I didn't even know she was pregnant when she... Yeah. Oh, bless her. It's horrible, isn't it? How did your mother die? Mm. At the time alcohol was her only comfort and she was killed in an accident. Oh god. Probably sort of drink driving sort of sort of stuff. Oh god, that's so horrible. I'm so sorry for everything, Tessa. Oh bless her. 
Such a shame. We really need to find out who she was meeting with. Yeah, I sort of totally agree, Wolf, because then we might have more answers. Well, more questions, obviously, and obviously get some answers. If anyone knows more about the cause of death, it's our Mr. X. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I'm telling you, he killed her. In any case, that's something we should consider. Yeah, you never know. Like I say, it, you know, she could have been pushed off the bridge. You just don't know, do you? It's just... Hmm. It's weird. But then again, there would have been marks. Oh, I don't know. There would have been marks on the back of her where she got pushed. So, anyway. Maybe only friends or relatives know about some, know something about him. My brother was an, well, was an only child. I, I didn't have any aunts or uncles, unfortunately. Wow. So she's got no aunts or uncles to sort of reach out for. That sucks, doesn't it? I have no contact with any of Serena's former friends or acquaintance, acquaintances. Sorry. Oh, sugar. Doesn't really sort of help us. Uh, I was taken in by uh, a lovely foster family after my mother died. But let's slow down. Yeah. yeah it's getting a bit too much. What makes you think my sister was murdered? I don't know, it just seems a bit weird to me. I mean, it's not a suicide note in, in, in my eyes. I mean, it just makes sense. Yeah. She's sort of writing stuff in a diary, you know. Um, Cedric said, well, and Henry, were you a part? Henry's full, so I'll try to keep this short. Your sister Serene is stuck in the in-between world. Okay, interesting. She uses the video as a means to solve a murder case. Right, okay, makes sense. I knew it. I, I knew it all along. So so obviously the all these sort of little interruptions and that it's sort of a way of sort of her uh, trying to signal something to us, you know. in my head anyway, I think it is, but anyway. Uh but why does she use a video? Not just to tell us the name of of the killer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a legitimate question, definitely. Yeah, well, it's the only way she can get through to us, I suppose. It's, mm, it's extremely complicated. Let me try to explain it to you. Oh, all right, Henry, just don't be too long. Excuse me. I've still gone past nearly 17 minutes, nearly 18 minutes now. Um, in the last 20 years, I've come across the phenomenon more than once uh, but i will make it clearer to you with a case study oh god here we go now he's going on forever now a young woman was murdered by her uncle a mysterious clue suddenly appeared in her diary it's a bit weird very very weird she was trying to guide me without directly naming the killer sort of a bit of what was happening now i was eventually able to solve the case and free us all Lovely. For me, there is therefore only one plausible explanation. Ghosts can only scatter clues. Right, that's a bit weird. <laughs> but plausible is a booze. However, it is not possible for them to name their own killer, as in our case. You mean the game, like the game Taboo? Mm. Yeah, word. Word. Only clues, but never the word itself. Ooh. Sorry, folks, I'm yawning away. I've got to fall asleep here. Bloody tired. Shouldn't be. Anyway. Oh, that's what we got to say now. Put very simply, but yes. So I suppose, you know, I say Ruby's right. Check her out, isn't it? Little this pretty little thing, isn't it? But I don't understand if she needs your help. Why is she threatening to kill you after seven days? I suppose that's what it boils down to. Why is she doing it? Why is she killing us and why seven days? It's not exactly we did anything to her, was it? Hmm. Tessa, I'll write you a private message in a moment. There are some things you might need to know. 
Mr. Fons, may I call you Henry? Yes, of course. Uh, wolf, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow. I already text him to meet at the old wishing bridge tomorrow after class. What could be. Don't know what that means. They met at the. Guys, they met at the, after the class at the wishing bridge. Uh, trying to scroll back. Do you know this bridge? Well, does anyone know the bridge? It's a bit of a longer episode, folks. Apologies, but like I say, hear waffling, me waffling on with my voice. <laughs> it gets annoying. <laughs> no, I don't, but the university the university uh, could uh, be another point of interest for us. Mm hmm. If both went to the same university, we might find out who the father was. Tessa, do you happen to know what university your sister went to? Hmm. No, I don't. Sorry. Oh dear. But I'm trying to figure out somehow. Back in a bit. Right, is that it? Because we are sort of gone way past. Way. Yeah, that will do. So, folks, that is it for this part. So, a little bit longer than usual, sort of five, six minutes, a bit longer than I wanted. But that is it for now. So, that is part 39 down of the sign. So a lot uh, to sort of uh, take forward. So now we've sort of found out Serena is now, or well, she was pregnant um, after sort of everyone's sort of little hunch. Uh, I think she was pregnant, it turns out she was now. Um, and obviously, like I say, the, obviously the, the fella, um, the, the father in this case, we don't know who he is, but we're hoping we find out very, very soon. Uh, hopefully it's a sort of, uh, see if they got any answers for us. But anyway, that is it for now, folks, and thanks for watching as always. And like I say, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And obviously smash the like as always, folks. And just very quickly before I go, massive shout out to Tongue Tied Games as well. Um, I forgot to do that at the start of this uh, sort of uh, playthrough. Um, so massive shout out to him and obviously go and watch his content and stuff and that. And uh, yeah, go and check him out. So anyway, that is it for now, folks. Like I say, I will be hopefully back a little bit later on for some more of the sign. And I shall catch you then. So take care and stay safe, folks. And I shall see you soon for more of the sign.